Thank you for listening. My name is Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21. I'm a mixed martial arts journalist. I currently contribute to BJPen.com, Low Kick MMA, CageSidePress.com. You could find my work there as well as my YouTube channel at AK Strauss21. And of course, the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast that you are listening to right now. Here is my latest interview. I hope you enjoy it. I want to welcome back to the show one of my favorite people, Ricky Samoan, fresh off his huge victory at UFC 234. What's going on, man? I'm just enjoying some coffee over here. In this, I'm still over here in Australia, so uh, I, yeah, it's morning time over here, so I'm just relaxing, enjoying the morning. Very cool. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big coffee drinker myself. Uh, how is the coffee down there? Is it good? Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm from Washington State, and right across the bridge is Portland, Oregon. So we have some pretty good, damn good coffee over there too. But uh, I don't know. Uh, they might, they might have us beat over here. <laughs> really? Wow. That's yeah. That that's uh, pretty high regards too, because as you said, where you come from, that's a hub of really good gourmet coffee. So that's uh, that's big props from you there. <laughs> yeah, I might I might get some crap from uh, my people back home for saying that, but it's the truth. <laughs> the truth is always the best way to go. Uh, yeah, man. Congratulations on your huge win. It was a big moment for you. I mean, it was a big placement, right? You were right there on the main card. You were the third fight. So I mean, big pay per view spot. You delivered, man. Now that you've had a couple days to kind of sit back and take it all. In. What did you think of your performance? You know, I, I always feel like uh, I'm my biggest critic, especially I, I, for some reason. Right out of the fight, I only could think of everything I did wrong. And uh, you know, my uh, one of my uh, head coaches, Ian Loveland, wasn't able to make the trip out. So, but I could still hear him yelling at me during the fight. Like anytime I would do some, make a mistake. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but I, but you know, honestly, uh, uh, I think I. I followed the game plan to a T, and uh, uh, I, you know, I beat the number fifteen ranked guy in the world, so I, I can't be, I can't be too hard on myself. Yeah, for sure, man. I thought you looked fantastic. I mean, you shut a specialist down, and you did it dominantly. I don't think you lost one minute of that fight, so it was a very impressive performance. And as you mentioned, he was the number fifteenth guy. Ranking should be coming out today, Tuesday, in the states here. Do you think that you should have his fifteenth spot, or do you think you might be a little bit lower? I never know. I never know how the rankings work, and uh, I, I mean, I. I feel like Ronnie should have been ranked a little bit higher than that as well, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely, I'm, de- I definitely want that number next to my name because you know, once once you get that, you know, a lot of things can change as far as not just in the fight game, getting matched up and getting new contracts and more pay, but also sponsorships. So I'm I'm excited to see the rankings come out, and, I, and I'm hoping I have a number next to my name. Yeah, you definitely should. At the very least, you should have his 15 spot. If not, you know, a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on which way you want to look at it. But either way, closer to the top, you should definitely be. You know, I wanted to ask you, what's next for you, man? I mean, Ricardo Ramos was a fight that was scheduled. They got canceled, and so was Benito Lopez. But seemingly, you were on a different trajectory than those guys now. So what would you like to see next? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm just planning to make that fight with Ricardo. He had a pullout due to an injury, and, uh, and, and unfortunately, he just suffered a loss. So, you know, I'm kind of looking past that now. And uh, the other guy, I don't even I don't even know what's up with him. I don't even want to talk about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> for the for amount of times he's pulled out of our fight. So he's not even in the question anymore. Um, but, uh, you know, someone I have my, my you know, my site set on is um, Rob Font. He doesn't have it. I was looking, I, I'm always looking at the rankings. And I'm always trying to, you know, see the next step and who has matchups. And, and uh, I feel like that, I feel like that's... Um, that's a great, great, great fight. It'll be an entertaining fight, and it'll push me into the top 10. And I mean, I wanted to break that top 10 in 2019, and I'm already on the right track. Yeah, yeah absolutely, man. How many fights? I mean, obviously, a lot of other things play into it, but if all things go well, how many fights would you like to get in this year? So I'm actually uh, in the middle of planning a wedding. I'm getting uh, married in June. Congratulations. Uh, but uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, but I want to fight one more time before then because uh, I don't like long layoffs. Like, you look at. If you look at my um, my record, I, I, I stay pretty active. Uh, so uh, I would like to get one more in before the wedding and then, uh, you know, go on my honeymoon and then get right back in it again. So I, I like to fight, you know, three to five times a year, depending. So I like to stay active. Cool. And, yeah, as you mentioned, man, you always have, uh, you know, throughout your career, you've always been a very active fighter. When you take a look back at the, the Bantamweight division as a whole, man, I mean, TJ just lost to Cejudo. Who knows what, what Henry Cejudo wants to do, right? Who knows what his division is going to be doing? I mean, the division's kind of uncertain. What do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little wacky right now, but I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sort out. There's so much talent. There's so much talent in the Bantamweight division right now, not only with the top contenders, but with, with some amazing prospects. So 
So I, I, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I, I'm sure it's all going to get sorted out, and there's going to be exciting fights no matter what. Yeah, I agree with you. I think uh, the bantamweight division, along with the lightweight division, are probably the two most talent-stacked divisions just in the entire world, man. Just ridiculous how talented all of you guys are. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 that's true. How do you think you match up with the very top guys uh, at 135, like Dillashaw, Garbrandt, and uh, Cruz, Marias? How, how do you think your skill set matches up with them? Because I think that you match up very favorably. Yeah, I, I mean, I have to agree. I, I... I feel I feel like at this point in my career I I have to have that mindset and I I I've always said I don't want to be under any false illusions that I'm one of the best in the world I want to keep proving it and I keep doing that and I I feel like I belong at the top and uh, and I'm ready to show it so I, I feel like I match up great with any of those guys just 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 with you know the skills that I bring with my wrestling and being able to dictate where the fight goes and 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 that's probably my best attribute and um, and then also just like uh, you know my aggression and and I'm not gonna back down. To, to any of those guys, you know, even even though they, you know, they uh, they they kind of like uh, they've been in the UFC a little bit longer or anything like that, you know, I, I feel like I'm an experienced fighter as well, and, and I'm a threat to any of them. Absolutely, you're definitely a, a threat wherever the fight goes. I wanted to ask you before I let you go, man. I know that that going to Melbourne, going to Australia was a business trip for you first and foremost. But did you did you have any time to kind of enjoy your trip there? Yes, definitely. Uh, I I asked my uh, manager Jason House uh, coming into 2019. He he was saying, you know we're trying to get a timeline and and where I wanted to fight. And I told him get me on that that uh, Australia card because I, I've always wanted to go. And that's what the best part of the fight game is. You get to travel. So uh, I I had planned um, uh, to stay an extra week afterwards with my fiance and you know just enjoy the fruits of my of my labor and. Uh, you know, really soak it all in, and uh, and we're doing just that. So, uh, I, you know, uh, yeah, I had the plan is just every day we're just we're exploring, we're exploring uh, this beautiful country. That's very cool. So you actually called your shot then. You actually wanted to go to Australia and fight. <laughs> well, I asked for it. I asked for it, and they and they said yes, they agreed. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> no, that's cool, man. Because I, I don't know. I think a lot of people they just you know they get the call and they're like, hey, this is what's up. But you actually chose that. That's I think that's very cool. That's very uh, very noble. Kid that you're that you're taking on those challenges and not just waiting for them, you know. Uh, I appreciate talking to you, man. I always do. I know that you're super busy. Uh, this week after the fight's got to be busy for you too. So I want to give you uh, a few minutes here to shout out your coaches, team, sponsors, whatever you'd like. The floor is yours, Ricky. Yeah, uh, you know, I would like to thank my team. I feel like we we did a great job. They did a great job putting a game plan together for me and, and preparing me for that fight. Gracie Bono, Portland. My coach Bobby Allen Scherner, Ian Loveland, and um, Andy Minsker. And, um, yeah, my sponsors, Ball Wash, Northwest Therapeutics, CNA Roofing, Feed Me, Fight Me, Defend Hawaii. I uh, love all you guys. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it, brother. Best of luck to you. When, when are you heading back uh, to the States? Uh, I think we're going to take off Friday. Yeah, Friday. Well, en enjoy your time, yeah, man. Yeah. I truly appreciate you doing this. I know that it's morning there, so uh, enjoy your day. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Thank you for having me on, man. Appreciate it. <laughs>